Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Cahan, and today I'm going to utilize Stick It To Me, a biodegradable interventional spinal training model to demonstrate how to perform and practice lumbar transferaminal injections. This model is designed so that the interventionalist can practice interventional training without utilizing patients and perform it in a safe environment. The fact that it's biodegradable enables us to utilize it in any office, convention setting, or in an ambulatory surgery setting. It's easily stored in a refrigerator and mimics how you would perform an interventional injection on a person. So today what we're going to do is we're going to practice with a lumbar transferaminal injection. I'll be doing it on the left side and I will demonstrate how we utilize Stick It To Me to perform these injections. We can then practice them over and over again until we get the confidence of learning how to control the bevel and the steerability of the needle and before we actually utilize these on a live person. Currently we're going to be doing an L4 uh, transferaminal epidural steroid injection which I have on the monitor and you can see that I have my vertebral body end plates lined up parallel at the area that we're going to be going. I make sure my spinous processes are midline before I oblique it into a lateral oblique view. I will oblique it so that we have our superior articular process lined up underneath the eye of the Scotty dog. I will then angle it so that my vertebral body end plates are parallel. We can see that we have the superior articular process here lined up the eye of the Scotty dog here. Our goal is to insert the needle underneath the eye of the Scotty dog and the nose of the Scotty dog, which is the superior aspect of the neuroforamen. Now that I have things marked, I will then move my needle so that I can enter into the skin. I will get the needle so that it will stay upright into the skin and then take my picture as if I'm working on a person or a live patient. I will make sure that my hub is over my needle tip before I advance it. This reduces the amount of fluoro time that it takes to advance the needle deep into the transferaminal epidural space. As you can see here, the hub is closer to the needle tip and it will gradually advance the needle into the transferaminal epidural space. As we know, the needle will curve away from the notch in the hub so as you can see, I'm enhancing my needle trajectory by placing a curve, and with this current curve, the needle will go superior in the neuroforamen. Thus, at this current time, I'll rotate my notch 180 degrees and then advance the needle into our interventional spinal training model, and you will see that our needle will start to straighten out, as you can see here. We're now going to rotate it 180 degrees, and steer it upwards into the neuroforamen as I advance it. Now the needle hub and needle tip are in direct alignment. At this current time, I can spin my needle as I advance it, and it will gradually go straight down into the transferaminal space, just as when we're working in our patients. I then will sit there and rotate it. The notch is pointing towards me, so the needle curve is going away from me. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees, so that the notch is away from me and my needle tip will move towards me. At the current time, I'm in good position. We will straighten it out so it's just underneath the neuroforamen, as we see here, and I will check my depth by going to an AP view. As you can see, I am heading underneath the transverse process, but I am still outside the neuroforamen. We have good alignment and we're going to continue on that trajectory into the transferaminal epidural space. We go back to our oblique view and I will gradually rotate things back and forth so that I go deeper in the patient. Upon reaching this I will then sit there and once I feel comfortable that I'm getting closer to the transferaminal epidural space continue to check my progress by going into a PA view. As you can see here, we are now just getting into the area that we need to go to. We know that when we're entering in a transferaminal space, we want to make sure we're between the 6 o'clock position of the pedicle and the 9 o'clock position of the pedicle. 
at the current time, I would say this is about 8 o'clock. I really don't have to advance it any further. What I can simply do is rotate the hub of the needle so that it's pointing upward. And once I do that, you will see that we will be at the 6 o'clock position. I will then slightly advance it so that I'm at the 6 o'clock position under an AP view. And this would demonstrate a successful transferaminal epidural injection. Utilizing the biodegradable model, I can practice this over and over and over again until I feel comfortable with my needle techniques. We can then check things with regards to PA views, oblique views, and lateral views to look at our depth as well as our progression from lateral to medial. For this, we would sit there and go to a lateral view. You can simply go like this, raise the table up, lower our machine down, as when you're working with a patient, and check your lateral views. At this current time, once we have our lateral view, completely lateral, I would again confirm the proper position and inject dye as we're doing it in a regular patient. I would not inject dye utilizing stick it to me because as you know, dye does not wash out. Doesn't wash out in patients, doesn't wash out in models, doesn't wash out in cadavers. But this would be a successful transferaminal epidural injection utilizing stick it to me so that you can practice in your own office over and over again, train residents in your own office, and run any type of educational program that you would like utilizing Stick It To Me.